Slava Ukraini. These words are on many people's lips as Putin's war of aggression in Ukraine enters its fifth week. Governments everywhere had to decide whether they would uphold the international order based on justice and peace or return to dog eat dog. This is what the conservative government of Boris Johnson has done and promises to do to tackle the crisis. On defence, we have sent 4,000 MLAWs to Ukraine to defend against Russian armoured vehicles. We will send body armour. We will send Star Streak anti-air guided missiles. We have sent soldiers to NATO countries such as Poland to deter further aggression. £24 billion of extra funds will be spent on defence over the next four years to show our resolve to stand up to Putin. On refugees, tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugee children have and will benefit from their online lessons new feature, auto-translate. Homes for Ukraine allows refugees to come to the UK if they have a named sponsor. And the Ukraine Family Scheme allows refugees to join immediate and extended family members in the UK. On sanctions, over a thousand Russian individuals and entities have been sanctioned, including Abramovich, energy firms, banks and airlines close to the Kremlin. We've put a 35% tariff on imports from Russia, like metals, foods, machinery, and the iconic vodka. Oil imports from Russia will be phased out by the end of 2022. A new Economic Crime Act was passed, making it harder to hide illicit wealth and easier to punish those who do. And the UK Gov looks set to make it harder for Russian oligarchs to use courts to silence critics. Overall, the Conservative UK government has done more to help Ukraine than most other nations. However, a note of caution should be sounded, as circumstances can prevent some pledges being carried out. Heroium Slava!